Hello my Coco Puffs, I'm Coco Peru. And uh, today I thought I would teach you all to make a cup of tea. The perfect cup of tea. I know how you kids think you're supposed to make tea. Yeah, like sticking it in the microwave that's full of like Indian food left over from last night. You got the hot pockets in there and then and then you're putting a cup of hot water in there and then that's dripping down into your hot water, the hot pocket. And, you, and the, the point is you ends up with the hot pockets Earl Grey tea. And that bothers me. I've never even had a hot pocket. And I'm proud of that. One of the things that just makes me crazy is when I order tea and I'm handed a cup full of hot water and a tea bag on the side. No. That's inhumane. I can't. It haunts me. No, literally, I see that tea bag. It's, it's probably standing behind me right now. So today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a cup of tea in just 20 short steps. Step one, filtered water. Now, I usually, uh, I love my Brita, so uh, uh, there's those fucking dogs. Um, anyway, um, you know, they only had one dog, now they have four. Four fucking dogs over there. I'm like Mrs. Kravitz looking out of the bush going, shut the fuck up. Anyway, uh, filtered water. You're gonna use filtered water. Um, now, you might be asking, why not just use the water from the sink? It's a little chlorine -y for me. So I, I just don't trust it. I like to filter it through my, uh, my uh, Brita. Why not bottled water? I don't like it. It's a waste. There's nothing wrong with the Brita. Step two, get your electric kettle. If you don't have an electric kettle, I recommend getting one. You pour your water in there, fill it all the way up. There you go. You just click that down. I love the sound of that. Look, look, watch that. It's so cute. I love the noise it makes. Step three. So then you just turn on your kettle. It's just a little button here. Boop. Look, you can hear it. It's like magic, but this will actually turn itself off. Oh, isn't that exciting? Step four. While you're waiting for your tea water to boil, reflect on all of your regrets. Step five, reheat your water. Those regrets took a little longer than expected. Step six, decide whether you're going to do a tea bag or loose tea. But today I'm gonna to do both so that you uh, understand how to do both. But first I have to open up my new box of Celestial Seasonings Ginger Jammer J. I can't get this fucking box open. I need a knife. Oh my God. There's Coco, still on the box. Still taming the dragon. I just stabbed her though. Step seven, choose a mug. I have a very special mug here. This is my Dolly Parton mug. Look at it, Dolly everywhere. Look at it, Dolly, 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 Dolly. I just can't get enough Dolly. All right, and then put your tea bag in there. Tea bag. Here you go, Dolly. Oh, thank you, darling. Dolly loves a tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweetie, that statement sure did make me sad, but as a defense mechanism, I will keep a smile on my face. Step eight. This is one of my little canisters for my loose tea. This happens to be a nice dark Earl Grey. What you do is you have your, your teapot here. Got a shot of my teapot. Got my pretty teapot. And then inside you have this little baskety thing. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do uh, one for the pot, one, two. And you lay that back in there. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about anymore. Are Step we making tea or what? Step nine. Step nine. You take your hot water. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. For, I'm, you, you're supposed to do that. And then you, you're supposed to heat your pot up. I don't know why. And you know what? I think that's warm enough. You pour that out. You put your tea and you pour. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Look at that. That is beautiful. And then you can pour it over your tea bag like that into your Dolly Parton mug. Or your Coco Peru mug, I'm just saying. Oh, I didn't make enough water. I have to brew a little bit more water because I'll tell you if there's one thing I hate, it's a cup of tea that's not right to the rim. My mother will send a cup of tea back if they don't fill it right to the rim. I used to laugh at my mother. I am now my mother. All right. Step 10, pour the rest of your water, because you didn't put enough in the first friggin' time, right up to the rim. And now, we're gonna steep. I have 
the cutest little tea timer here. Look at that. It says perfect tea timer. The yellow is the show. We're going for the full five minutes, kids, because I like a strong cup of tea. Step 11. Now this is for when you're making your cup of tea. You get a little plate and you just lay it right over your cup of tea and that'll help it to steep and make a stronger cup of tea. Isn't that precious? You know, they sell mugs with the little thing that goes over it, but um, I don't have one. I don't know why, I just don't have, I don't see why I have to spend the extra money when I could just stick a plate on there. You know what I'm saying? Just stick a plate on. What do the British say about that? Who cares? Step 12. Admire your olive oil decanter that you bought in Mallorca, Spain. This just makes me so happy. Just love my olive oil decanter. I bought this on Mallorca. They're known there for their uh, glass factory. They blow glass. And so an artisan uh, actually made this. I, and I, I said, I have to have that. And, and let me tell you, they are gorgeous there on Mallorca, by the way. So every time I look at this decanter, I just think of the hot man that blew this glass. Mm. Step 13. Admire the diversity of the persimmons. This one's like a little tomato. This one looks like a Roma tomato. Oh, aren't they precious? Apparently anything with orange, that's the color orange, has a lot of beta carotene in it. And Cheetos do not count. Although I do love a good crunchy Cheeto. Ursula, I like a goldfish. From the Little Mermaid. I like a nice manchego. Poor unfortunate souls. I'll even eat Velveeta. I'm supposed to be making tea. Step 14, get out your cute little sugar bowl. Where's my sugar bowl? Oh my God, where the hell is my sugar bowl? Where is my sugar bowl? I had my sugar bowl right here. Oh my God, it's up here. Now see, I don't take sugar, but I still put it out because I think it's just so cute. <laughs> and I love that sound. That friggin' dog is barking again. Step 15. Just how many friggin' steps are there? So let's deal with the cup of tea first, right? We remove the plate. I do believe that the British people, they would just take the tea bag out, like, and throw it off to the side. But I'm not British. I'm American, and I like to squeeze as much out of everything as I can possibly get out of it. Look at that. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Mmm, look at all that catnip. That's the American way. Step 16, you've let this brew long enough and you remove the, um, the little thing. And you, oh, it's dripping everywhere, Christ. God damn it. I don't know, toss it somewhere. No, I made a little mess. Don't you just love these? I don't like messy things. I don't like a mess. And I'm gonna put that right there. Oh, see, I made a mess here. Clean it up. Ooh, this got mildewy. Look, my mother, she likes to read tea leaves. And you know what that's saying to me right now? It's saying, Coco, you've made a mess of everything. Here's what you do with your Milzoe rag. Throw it in here. And then I got my handsy Clorox and I just spray the shit out of it. Oh, there's a piece of cereal left there. Look at my little piece of cereal. How did I miss that one? What a waste. I hate wasteful things and I wasted a nice, Circle of cereal. Poor thing, it looks so lonely laying there covered in bleach. Step 17, get out your cup. Look at that. And you're going to pour. Look at the color of that tea. That is a gorgeous cup of tea. Look at that. Oh my God. Come on, get a shot of that tea. Oh my God, I wish you could smell that. I forgot to put my milk in here. I didn't put the milk in. You know what's in here? Lentil soup. I pour my milk right in here. For me, it's a ritual. It's all about presentation. It needs to feel fancy. I like fancy things. I like pretty things, and I like fancy things. Uh, there was an old Jewish woman that lived two doors down, and she passed away. They had an estate sale, and I bought this from, from her estate. For Nasha Zemli. Because I'm from New York, and most people think I'm Jewish. You have a, a dead woman's mint container? Yeah, why not? Pour your milk in there. Put that down. You give it a little stir. Oh my God, that looks good. What's the next step? Sit down. No, you have to, you haven't found a nice snack. I don't need a snack. You want a snack? Yeah. Step, I don't even know, how many steps are there? What, what 20? 
21? I don't even know. I don't even care anymore. You, you've made this so complicated for me with the steps. I'm just making a fucking cup of tea. Steps. I don't do steps. I don't have time for that BuzzFeed bullshit. You know what I do? Make a fucking cup of tea. And finally, enjoy your hot cup of tea with friends or alone. I really can't decide which one I want. To entertain her, the Earl Grey. You know what? Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the I'm go with the tension chamber. I'm going with the dolly. Cause I don't have any friends here. I'm alone. The walking dogs. Can you believe I just burned my mouth so fucking badly? Again. <laughs> Darling.